as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They've become a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time, and it's second down. To throw again, Brady. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Touchdown. Tom Brady with two first quarter touchdown passes. And once again, the Saints are back out in front. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch. Will Lutz lining up for the point after. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. And he knocks it through. So that drive, four plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Lutz to kick off for New Orleans. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive, and they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And it is still early, just the first quarter. But you start prorating the numbers, and we might be in for some history. I mean, that last run puts him over 100 yards already, and we've still got three quarters to go. Tackle there going to Marshawn Lattimore. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's got room. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Saints 34. A big play on third down for the Chiefs. Give him 42 yards on the ground. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Third and long, they keep it on the ground, and it pays big dividends. Sometimes it's a surprise to the defense. Third and long, you expect to pass. You catch them off. Guard. In this case, you're exactly right. It paid huge dividends. Off and running. The last run got six, now second and four. And he'll give it here to his running back. And some room to work. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs have tied it, and they can take the lead with the extra point. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times have we talk about? Low man wins, right? Move the defensive front aside, create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through them for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's he a, recognized That's a smart man. You know what else he should do? If this continues, take them all to dinner. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. 
an incredibly short now a hit and a loose football the lane opens here he's oh, past the 30 over. still going inside the 30 they had a terrific return there they're finally able to corral him down near the 11 yard line and careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now here's Mahomes. Flushed out right. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. The Saints say they have it, and they do. Does the big boy have the juice? 20, 10, 5. Mahomes on the keeper. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. This will be caught at about the 5. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. Brady now on third and goal. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Tyreek Hill doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Saints have moved out in front. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Lutz now to kick this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. First and 10 at their own 20. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you set the tone this way, and have run it this effectively. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Alex Anzalone just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now they try the right side here. And now running right through him. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now a handoff looking right. Runs over it. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Second and three. And to give this time to the tailback. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. Bring in the second string. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 36 yards on the play. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. 
But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great effort there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up when we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. And fun to watch. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jared. Jared Cook, 51 yards, and the Saints have retaken the lead. Will Lutz lining up for the point after. Oh, well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. But conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Mahomes now on first down, eluding the pressure right. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Janoris Jenkins. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. But it looks like the Chiefs are going to get it back. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Now they try the right side here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and it's starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now a handoff looking right. 
spinning away. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards there, first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs have tied it, and they can take the lead with the extra point. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. The extra point splits the uprights. And that will give him the lead here as we get on towards halftime. To kick off for Kansas City. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. Saints take over first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk-takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. The final shot before half for Brady. Looking for Hill again. This time it's complete. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. So we've reached halftime in a wild first. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. Will Lutz to kick off Gordon Warlock. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. But well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light go. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Nine brings up second and one. Now a handoff here to his running back. And now the rookie's free. And all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. 76 yards, and the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. Well, I'm just not sure what more we can say about him after that one. But we're certainly going to give it a try, aren't we? Because I believe we're watching greatness personified. It has not mattered all game long where they've handed him the football. He's taken it and found the end zone. He is so locked into that so-called zone, I don't think they're going to get him out of it in this one. And with that, the lead is up to eight. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And an incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room, and now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points. They'll come out in a four-receiver look. Three men to the right side on second and six. Here's Brady. That one complete to Hill. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. 
These defenses have become so opportunistic, and no matter what you're playing, in this case, wide receiver, you got to be careful. You certainly do, because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time, completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away, you're trying to get downfield, but someone's always coming up trying to rake in the ball and knock it free. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. It's been a remarkable day at the office for him running the football. Those yards just continue to pile well past 100. And how about more than double-digit carries in the second half alone? That's what you want as a runner because you've got to prove to your offensive line that you're going to be as tough as they are. They don't rotate in and out on every play. Running backs often do, so those who can stay out there with their offensive linemen, those are the guys they really value. And he'll give it here to his running back. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And finally down at the 32-yard line. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And to give this time to the tailback. Powers through it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Boy, the run on first down, a disaster as he's tackled well behind the line of scrimmage. The stop by Marcus Davenport. Brought down back at the 27. Now a handoff here to his running back. Down to the 25. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And he'll give it here to his running back. He spins free. Open space inside the 10. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. 25 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they want it. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? I was going to ask you, what maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film? To try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't the, know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. To throw is Brady. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. To Tyreek Hill. A really good pickup of 28 yards. First down, Saints. Throwing on first down is Brady. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jared Cook, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the forced fumble defensively leads to six points for the Saints. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Will Lutz to kick off for New Orleans. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen. They see the blocks happen. They feel really good about their vision. And 
then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. 36 yards on the play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. First, so three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number.